these days we are used to seeing hit Australian films at the cinema and seeing Aussies grabbing a few statues at Oscar time, but life hasn't always been so good. In the early 70s, local films were struggling for success at home and almost non-existent on overseas screens. Yeah, but in August 1975, a film premiered that would change the way the world viewed Australian movies and kickstart the career of one of our greatest directors. It was Picnic at Hanging Rock. It's a steamy St Valentine's Day in colonial country Victoria. A group of young ladies from Appleyard College are off to a picnic at the local landmark Hanging Rock. There she is, ladies. Hanging Rock. But the rock is a strange, eerie place. Three girls wander off and just disappear. Their fate is a mystery. Picnic at Hanging Rock showed the world that Australia had great filmmakers. It launched young director Peter Weir on a career that went from Gallipoli to Master and Commander. One schoolgirl stole the show, Miranda, the beautiful, dreamy teenager played by young actress Anne Louise Lambert. Every time I come back here to the rock, I, I'm reminded what an extraordinary place it is. I remember some amazing experiences here and uh, some extraordinary people. So I sort of feel you know, very like this place is mine. Well, the place itself is just so beautiful and it's captured so beautifully in the film, the light and the gold and sort of quality that it has. We can't go much further. We shot in the summer, so it was hot here at the rock and we wore those funny little Victorian boots and I remember always having almost appalling blisters and having to climb these rocks day in day out you know getting kitted out in in course it's not for me I didn't have to wear a course I don't think I was the only one because Miranda was such a free spirit she didn't have to wear one the film was inspired by a much-loved book by Joan Lindsay. When Joan visited the set, she was overcome by the way Anne Louise Lambert had captured the spirit of Miranda. She just came up to me and she threw her arms around me and held me really hard. And she said right in my ear, Oh, Miranda, it's been so long. And she was crying. has been such a huge part of my life. I've grown up with it, you know. I don't think I've gone through a whole day in my life since I made it where someone hasn't come up and said, oh, you're, you're the girl from, you know, Hanging Rock. And the question remains, what really happened to the girls on that fateful Valentine's Day 1900? I'm one of those people who like mystery um, I don't I don't want to solve it I like the fact that we don't know